guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 2 of season 2 of Beastars. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Your girl has been waiting since what? Last Wednesday? Yeah? About, I think so, I don't remember. Like, almost, yeah, almost a whole week. Because especially how episode one ended and whatever the heck Legacy was looking at. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Where's episode two? And episode two came out. I thought, okay, I thought it would be out Wednesday. Wednesday came and gone. And then I was like, okay, I don't know when the hell this is coming out. And then Saturday came up. And I went, I just had like a weird feeling just to go check on, um the website that I use and it was there and I was like okay I can't do this Sunday because Attack on Titan and ish and so I was like okay do it today then you know freaking Cells at Work decided no Cells at Work called Black decided to not have not one but two episodes come out today so I think really for this I think with this show and Cells at Work called Black are gonna come out tomorrow morning for you guys because that would make the most sense. And then plus, I gotta get Patreon shows done tomorrow. Busy girl. Mm -hmm. Just need to know, what in the world? Legacy Saul in the freaking laundry room? Like, mm. What should be? No, I don't think that's an octopus, but... Huh? Oh, this is, ah, uh, okay. Hmm? You know what this kind of looks like? Um, the Supreme Court, I believe? That or like the, I think it's the World Nations. But exactly, that's a little too much responsibility on these kids. No one's gonna go after that? Yeah, because this snake was... It's... It's a snake, ain't it? Yeah, it's a snake! Oh, hell no. Nah. Mm. 
Are your shots finished? Oh, okay. Yeah, what is your name? Seriously? Yeah. But I think ever since, you know, the situation of everything that happened in season one with Tim, and then you attacking, you know, Haru. Uh, oh! Oh, God. You're not going to be like that one snake from the Jungle Book, right? Who, you know, tries to, who hypnotized Mowgli? Because she is a predator. Or a he. Because I, I don't know. Like what sex are you ma'am sir? Because he sounds more like a man. of the play
Why not? Okay, that makes the most sense. What if it could be that person who, it w- the POV of the last episode of season one, where Louis, I'm uh, not Louis, Legacy was talking to somebody? And such, it could be that person, he, she, whoever, but we didn't get to see it because it was showing, like, we, the audience, were that character. I don't know. Hmm? I could have been anybody. Why would you still gym class? Maybe. I mean, I, I kind of do wish that we had, like, one episode where it was a flashback to Tim before he, you know, got killed. But, I mean, who knows if they'll do that. Oh. Hmm? Smart, though. But, oh, Yeah, or did he maybe owe money to someone? Mm hmm. You know something. Maybe. Are you supposed to be- HE'S A KANGAROO! Come on, think, please. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, is there a reason why you're stealing girls, um, sports clothes? Uh-uh. 
But seriously, why would he want to take that, though? Unless he was doing some pervy ish to it. <laughs> Carl, you know something about Tom. Oh! Okay, so it's a girl. So then maybe that person who was us as the audience is also a girl as well. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh god That makes sense, but so I can't think of anything. Maybe inside of Legacy's memory, there's something to say. Is he supposed to be a turtle? Luis? Yeah. He could kill you if he wanted to. Hi, Cody. You're right about that, but...
Okay. Come here, puppy, because I know you want to come up here. Are you serious? Cody, go, go over here. Go over here. Okay. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. What the heck is going on? Why? Is okay. See, this is why I wish from season one we got a POV of Le not Legacy, Louise, of this situation. What made him go from this, you know, very nice, kind guy to the situation that he is in now? Yes, we got to learn about his backstory in season one and that he was tested on and everything until that guy came in and saved his life and stuff. And, you know, still every day he is thankful for that. But I'm still wondering, why the fuck did you go back to these people and now this situation? What the hell is going on? <laughs> How in the world did this kid go from a sweet, kind boy to a leader of a freaking group? Oh my god. So now the question is who's going to be the B star? Of course it can't be Louise now because, you know, Louise is like, he, the, he's a former face. He's not the same person anymore that he once was. And then the situation with uh, freaking Legacy and uh, Hexai and them looking for the person who killed them, which I still believe it's that person at the end of episode one, at the episode, uh, at the, the final episode of the POV where it was us as the audience looking at Legacy and talking to Legacy and such. That has to be him because who else would it be? But we, I, I can't even, uh, you know what? I think after I'm done watching all four of my shows, I'm going to go on Netflix and I'm going to go back to that last episode and I'm going to listen to the person's voice. Because as much as I think it's a woman, I think it's a man. It has to be a male character. There's something that Tem was into. We don't know specifically what it is. That diary kind of gives me a little to nothing right now. So I'm guessing there has to be more. I do like the fact that, you know, Tim was having a relationship with a carnivore. And that, you know, he he realized that carnivores just do have, like, the same problems as herbivores. And, you know... <sighs> Excuse me. Um, but still, I, I don't know. He would, He had to be into something. There's no freaking way, no reason for him to get killed in the first season without him getting into some ish. He had to be in something that we don't know, whether it's the black market, dark market, black web, whatever. He was into something. I don't know what. And whatever it was, it wasn't good because of that has to be one of the reasons of why he got killed. He got killed because he got, he knew something. He knew something too much. And, some, and a higher up was like, you know what, kill him because he need, he knows way too freaking much and he needs to go. There had to be something. So right now, I don't know, I'm a little, little hella suspicious about Tim right now. Because, you know, Tim from season one, when the, uh, from the last few moments of his life that we saw in episode one, just seemed like a regular normal kid and that he had no secrets. But of course, everybody has their secrets. So, yeah, I'm a little suspicious. Uh, hell, I, I'm a suspicious about the dude from the boxing group, you know, taking females gym wear. I don't understand that. But yeah, you could have been doing some, you know, pervy-ish, but we don't know. But yeah, I, this is a good episode. Just hopefully Legacy finds the truth. And that it's not going to be as bad as I think it's going to be. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 2 of season 2 of Beastars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys once again. Honestly, I don't know when the heck I'm going to see you. So, whenever episode 3 comes out, that is officially the next time you guys see me. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!